Hey, YouTube Rando here. So I had a couple of items we picked up this week that I wanted to share with you. Uh, we went garage selling, but we only found uh, found two things, and they're not really prepper oriented or anything, but I wanted to share them nonetheless. Picked up this microphone. It's a uh, Stromberg Carlson. This is an old uh, microphone. I don't know the exact time it comes from, somewhere in 40s, 50s, something like that. Um, now she had like twenty dollars on it, and it was in you know a little bit rough shape. Uh, we picked it up. I ended up getting it for ten bucks, and got it home, cleaned it up. It cleaned up real nice. You can see it still has the screen in there and everything. And I looked them up, and they're selling for about ninety bucks in this condition, so it wasn't a bad deal. Uh, if nothing else, I could resell it and make some money on it. I'll try to make a little stand for it or something. I don't know. I was just proud of it. Ten bucks. Couldn't beat it. Uh, I didn't know what it was worth when I offered her ten. Otherwise, I'd have paid her the full amount for it. Uh, another thing we picked up is this three-in-one stapler. It's a, uh, let's see, it does brad nails, U-shaped nails, and then just regular standard duty staples. But it came with two complete packs of 300 uh, nails. Or it has 300 staples. 300 brad nails, 300 youth staples, and 300 light duty staples, and then the staple gun itself. This this was still in the shrink wrap, and they were only asking 10 for it. And I picked it up with another item they were asking 10 for, and I ended up giving 15 for both of them. So I was looking at 750 a pop. Uh, not a bad deal. I don't know what they cost. It's a cheaper performance tools, you know, Harbor Freight type tool, but. Uh, my staple guns down and out and it was a Stanley and it and only lasted about two or three years so if I can get a year out of this one I'm happy with that uh, and the fact that it'll do you know different size uh, staples you know that's right up my alley because I have a bunch of staples that won't fit a staple gun that does work that I have so uh, those staples will actually fit this gun I was happy with that another thing I found on Amazon <clears throat> was the Strike Anywhere matches. These are the kitchen matches. They are uh, a little bit longer and a little bit fatter than the regular Strike Anywhere matches I usually buy. Uh, they were kind of expensive. This box was just under $5. I forget exactly what I paid for it, but uh, it was just under $5 or right around $5. So it may have been five fifty or four fifty, something like that. Um, but I wanted to make some of the uh, Stormproof matches we made in a video uh, not too long ago. And I wanted to make them out of Strike Anywhere matches. That way I don't have to carry a striker with them. Uh, you can strike those with your fingernail if you have to. You know, whatever. It's a piece of sandpaper, whatever you have. Uh, just anything with a little bit of roughness to it or a 90 degree edge. You can actually put it on the spine of your knife and strike it off and it'll light. So, uh, <clears throat> I won't have to carry a striker with my Stormproof matches. And I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, last but not least, we picked up a new flashlight. It is another Ultra Fire. Uh, it's the same brand as my other flashlight. It's the XML T6. Um, I still have the Aletto. You can kind of see the bottom of it there. Uh, I still have it, and I wanted a bug out bag <clears throat> flashlight that uses 18650 because 18650 is ultra bright. And this flashlight, uh, we're going to be reviewing this over on Texas Gear Reviews, by the way. Uh, so be looking out for that review coming out soon. Um, but this flashlight with a very good. Uh, battery and it can get up to 2,000 lumens. Uh, 2,000 lumens is insane, you know what I mean? And that's that's from the factory. That's what they claim. So uh, you should be able to get at least 1,500 out of it with a good 18650. I have a dead 18650 in there right now and it is ultra bright, as you can see. <clears throat> and it's half dead. It was actually one I took out of the Aletto. But the cool thing I like about this flashlight is it don't just use 18650. It came with another little adapter for it. And you can use just regular AAA batteries in it. I haven't tested it yet, but from the reviews I've been looking at, uh, it looks like you can reach close to 600 lumens with uh, AAA batteries in this thing, which is unheard of uh, for you know AAA batteries. and only uses three, so it is a little bit heavier than the Aletto, a little bit wider at the base, but it's zoomable. So I think this is a really cool flashlight. We're going to show it on uh, Texas Gear Reviews, like I said. So if you want, you can go over there and check out the review. Uh, we'll come over here and I'll let you know what I think about it after I use it for a couple of weeks. I'm going to actually pocket it. I'm going to put up my EDC flashlight and I'm going to use this one for a couple of weeks and see how I like it. 
uh, even though it's too big for my pocket, I don't really want to carry it for an EDC. I just want to do some testing with it to see how well it does. And we will be doing uh, uh, nighttime testing on all the flashlights over on Texas Gear Review real soon. We're going to go out and take all the flashlights out, get all fresh batteries, uh, and test each one out out in the field and see how well they work, lighting up some trees or you know bodies of water or whatever we can light up with them. Uh, so we'll be doing those as well. So be looking out for those. Um, that's all we really found this week. We didn't pick up too much. I, I was kind of broke, but the flashlight, uh, ten to fifteen, somewhere in there, ten to fifteen dollars, real cheap. Actually, I think the flashlight was under ten dollars, but you can get it with a rechargeable eighteen six fifty and a charger for right around fifteen dollars. So it was still pretty cheap with the batteries. Uh, I got it by itself because I already have plenty of eighteen six fifties, six fifties for the Aletto. So. Um, I just charge them in the Aletto and then put them in here and it's fine. They work. Um, so, review real soon. We're going to be making some stormproof matches with these. We'll come over here and show them off. And uh, we'll test these against the regular small strike anywheres and compare them. And do some videos on those as well. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.